Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining this session. Really good to be here. So as developers, we are constantly trying to find new ways to be more efficient when improving existing design or trying to create new one. And at the end of the day, what we all want is to save time and bring product to market faster. So my name is Anise Jaimo. I am product marketing manager at ST Microelectronics. Today, I want to show you how to break down wireless design barriers. And I will bring you on a journey around the world to show you how our customers have saved time and resources thanks to LoRaWAN and ST solution and ecosystem. I will also present you a brand new device, an ST device, that I will show you here at LoRaWAN Tokyo. Hopefully, sharing this customer experiences will help you better understand and visualize all the wireless possibilities and how they can be applied to your own situation. OK, let's start. So at ST, we have shaped our wireless offer based on four key features, long range, power consumption, security, and certification. So why is that? Simply because these four key features will determine the quality, cost, and time to bring a product to the market. So, Long range, to communicate over long distances, so to reduce the numbers of gateways, to reduce the overall cost, and to operate in large distance, so enabling applications like transportation, logistics, or agriculture. And then power consumption, because longer the battery life means less maintenance. And this is particularly useful for application for remote, remote sensors, for example, or for metering applications that are difficult to access. Then security. Security is crucial for application the handling with sensitive data, such as what we say medical devices or devices dealing with financial transactions. And last but not least, it's about certification. Certification enables and ensure that the device is safe, reliable, and interoperable. And in ST, we certify our device in order for our customer to save time and to bring product to market faster. So pack your cases now and join me for the next 15 minutes on a journey around the world to discover how our customers has create new designs, and this journey will leave you inspired and ready for your next design. Let's go, let's join me. So here we go, here we are, our first stop on our IoT journey, take us now to Asia. And we are seeing incredible growth in the deployment of IoT sensors. We've already millions of sensors deployed in the first six months of 2023. And with a large and a diverse population, so Asia represents a unique set of challenges and opportunities for IoT. And we are seeing opportunities in the field of environmental monitoring, energy management, and street lighting. So let's take street lighting as an example to see how LoRaWAN helps to make our city more sustainable and how such device can be deployed quickly and more efficiently. For street lighting, let's go to Indonesia. And let's explore the city of Jakarta. Jakarta is one of the largest cities of Southeast Asia. With more than 10 million people, it, IoT represents a key role in making the city smarter, more efficient, and more sustainable. So let's now walk on the street of Jakarta. Let's look closer to the street light. Let's get closer to the light. If we get closer, we will see a device made by our partner and distributor, Avnet, called the NIMA LoRaWAN Street Light Controller. Basically, NIMA Street Light is a standardized form factor for street light that allows easy replacement in existing infrastructure, high reliability, and zero maintenance. It makes it an ideal solution for smart cities like Jakarta because it allows 
remote monitoring, remote control, in order to make it more power efficient and to reduce the maintenance costs. So now let's look even closer again. Let's open the box and have a look to the PCB, the PCB made by our partner Avnet to see what are the devices used in this controller. If we look closely, we will see a brand new device, a device, an ST device that actually is today available in alpha sampling, so it's really a pre-show here that I'm showing, and will be in production in Q1 2024. So this device is a tiny module, 10 by 10 millimeter form factor, and it integrates many components from the MCU, so the main system controller, up to the antenna pin. So all the RF components are integrating. Let's do something. Let's look really inside, and let's take your X-ray glasses. Let's look through the molding compound of this module, OK? If we look inside, we will see all the components. We will see that we have integrated inside this module the well-known stm 32 wl so a system on chip integrating the MCU, a dual-core MCU, a multi-modulation radio supporting LoRa modulation and handling LoRa 1 protocol, internal flash, peripherals, and we have also inside this module internal crystal to generate a precise and accurate cross, clock across the full temperature range. Inter integrated passive device. So here this is also a specificity of the module that there is tuned, already fine-tuned matching network, antenna filters, and balloon. Means that that's already tuned, fine-tuned to achieve the best performance here and an internal RXTL switch, so an RF switch, in order to connect the antenna to a single pin, single-ended pin, and reduce the total bomb cost. Optionally, there is also a secure element, an ST safe from ST, that enables to store the lower one credential in a secure way inside this module, inside a 10 by 10 millimeter form factor. But form factor is not the most important here. The most important is what these modules allow for IoT application. And this is all about time to market. Because as I said, it is already fine-tuned to achieve the best performance, already certified, LoRaWAN certified. And this really saves time for R&D developers to deploy their device as quick as possible inside the field, on the field. Also, it's an all-in-one device, so means that it simplifies the ordering process. One device to cover a full bill of material. Logistic aspect as well as are quite simplified. And a small footprint, for sure. Small PCB, small end product. Well, now let's go to the second step on our IoT journey that leads us now to Europe, Switzerland, where we will see how our customer, Sontex, has revolutionized water meter with their IoT solution. They are making water metering more sustainable, more power efficient here, in order to save these precious resources, water. Let's go. So, Sontext has made this uh, connected water meter called Super Aqua. It allows to remotely monitor, uh, record the water consumption in a, re in a precise, reliable and accurate way. And this with availability of the data at any time and from anywhere. It is fully secured uh, with consistent security from the end device up to the data processing. It is fully versatile as well. It, is, it has been certified LoRaWAN, so again, it can be really deployed quickly in a LoRaWAN network in line with OMS standards. And it is fully versatile. It supports multiple protocol here, so it can be really deployed in many locations. But the most important of this module is the power consumption again. It has 12 years of battery life, 12 years. So let's look more how the WL, the stm 32 wl achieves such long battery life, or contribute to achieve such long battery life, I would say. So the WL has a really flexible power scheme, many power modes. But today, I want to focus on the specific power mode, the stop mode, because basically, in a smart meter application, what the application has to do, it has to sleep, to stay in low power state as long as possible, wake up quickly, 
resume the application to execute directly the firmware in order to acquire the data, process the data, and send it to the cloud optionally. And the stop mode is really well adapted for that. Why? Because it has quick wake up time, few microseconds to wake up the system. But on top of that, there is full retention. Full retention means that in this mode, in this low power mode, the RAM context, all the RAM content, the product context and the product state is maintained during this low power state. In such a way that when the system resumes from the stop mode, it resumes with the exact same context as it was before sleeping. Means that the application can resume directly, execute the firmware, so acquire the data, process the data, and send it to the cloud through LoRaWAN protocol. And again, this is really low power, one microamp, down to one microamp. Maybe for some of you, one microamp doesn't tell really anything, but just to give you another of idea, one microamp during 12 years means that it's just using 13% of a CR2 battery, 13%. So, and this is a really small battery, 800 milliamp hour battery, really small. So there is plenty of room then to uh, send the data to the cloud, to process it, etc. Well, I'm excited now to show you our last use case on our IoT journey that led us now to South America, specifically Brazil. So our team has the opportunity here to focus on uh, cattle monitoring in Brazil. So this customer, Constanta Spacebis, they are doing cattle monitoring. So they are able to track cattle location. They are able also to monitor their vital sign and to predict any abnormalities in real time. Let's look this more in detail here. So this device from uh, Constanta Spacevis is an impressive 35 grams, 35 grams. But don't let this small size fool you because this product is packed with features. It utilizes blockchain to ensure the uniqueness of the data collected by each cow. And this is particularly useful for financial, exportation control, or insurance purposes. Because it allows accurate inventory. Also, it is equipped with GPS, with MEMS, with sensors that combined together, computed together, helps to monitor the cow, helps to check and predict any, any disease, any vaccination needs, any if the cow, for example, is uh, facing a predator in uh, abnormal locations. So this product has really revolutionized the way farmers in Brazil are handling their cattle, making, but improving the animal welfare, improving the efficiency, the, so really is an advance in terms of uh, agriculture field. Now, let's look a little bit more on the WL and how versatile the WL is here because Cattle Space Viz developed their own firmware protocol here based on the WL. So let's look more and let's talk about the flexibility of this brand new module. So the flexibility in terms of frequency band. This module supports the full high frequency, means that it can be deployed in all the associated regions, Europe, US, and Asia Pacific as well. It is a multi-modulation product supporting LoRa modulation, FSK, MSK, BPSK, so it can be deployed on a LoRaWAN network, and it is fully versatile. So it's really making it the convergence product of all the LP1 market here. Adjustable output power with a flexible power, uh, output power that can be, we can select on the fly between a low power output in order to reduce the battery, the power consumption, extend the battery life, or selecting a high power output up to 22 dBm optimized for long range that can be used, for example, in the US because the regulation allows to go above 15 dBm. Well, this module is not only versatile, but it is also robust. And it is robust by its design itself because this module is a molded module. So molded module has several benefits. First, it provides physical protection, protection against dust, against humidity or moisture, and EMC protection. 
So it's really suitable here for industrial application, especially because it can also go up to 85 degrees Celsius, so high temperature gra grade, and that can be used, for example, in um, factory automation or energy management systems. Now, I want to leave you here with also something quite important to reduce the time to market. This is all about ecosystem, all about development environment. And this module has been fully integrated inside ST development environment to help developers to save time, to quickly wire and debug their application within, within the CubeMX application. Um, and that actually helps the, the developers to spend less time on the setup and to spend more time, to have more time to focus on their own application development. Again, fully certified module, saving time again. And it comes with an evaluation board in order to make quick prototype, quick demonstration. So all this has been, will be provided with the module. Well, now I would like to invite you also to come to our booth. We are here today on the marketplace at Laura One Tokyo. So we have the module that we are showcasing. We have also some interesting demonstration showing and showcasing a reference design for asset tracking, an asset tracking reference design that you can reuse for your own application. So it combines GNSS, it combines Laura One technology and BLE. And we have also an interesting solution showing, showcasing a LoRaWAN provisioning over NFC. So a way to simplify the provisioning of a LoRaWAN device using NFC technology. So thank you for listening. And uh, let's meet with our wireless experts on our booth. Thank you.